guys and welcome to Car Story and Car Story is where we give you the real car stories. Uh, we are at Urban Drive, the previous location that we have been for several times and uh, the location is where the uh, bypass intersects with Kiambu Road, just like a hundred meters on your way to Ruaka, that is where uh, Urban Drive is. And uh, today we have um, a BMW X3 for our review today. And this is a BMW X3 2015 model. Now, uh, the BMW X3 first generation was manufactured in, uh, or rather the sales went uh, up in 2003 which uh, was the first generation that, go, uh, that went up to 2010. Uh, from 2010 all the way to 2016, we have the second generation where this uh, particular car falls um, uh, to. Now, in 2003, the X5 had already uh, been man manufactured. Actually, we were on the third year of X5. So X3 came as a, a, smaller, a smaller SUV uh, compared to the X5 because the X5 production started, or rather the sales started going up in 2000. And you see now this was the first generation started in 2003. So this, this came as um, a cheaper unit. And of course, as I said when I was doing the X1 review, it came as... Um, as a unit that complements the uh, the other the the, pre the previous uh, model, which is the X5, so this was made to at least um, take care of the person that cannot afford uh, the X5. Though the X3 came at a point where uh, the luxury SUV crossovers were not very, very common. Actually, it is among the very first um, um, uh, mini SUVs that we had uh, then in 2003 when uh, the first generation started uh, being uh, in the market. Now, the BMW has been known for several things. One of the things that the BMW is known for is making sport cars and this one is not an exceptional. It is a twin turbo and it comes with a, a, a 2.0 diesel engine. And of course, a twin turbo, you know, it comes with, uh, it comes with its power. Now, uh, for this particular model, it has so many features that are really interesting to note. First of all, um, in every of the cars that uh, in every of the cars that we have, most of the things that are done, uh, especially to the body, is the facelift. If you look at the 2003 uh, model, it was very different in terms of the facelift with this one. So 2003, uh, being the first generation, came with, um, with I, I, I normally call them trial features, but now you see, of course, when you're talking of a second generation, we expect an improvement from the previous generation. So, of course, this one has a facelift on it, and I think uh, we expect the same when it comes to the third generation, because, of course, the third generation is already manufactured, only that uh, we do not have so many of them in Kenya, because the third generation started from 2017, and, of course, you know we are in 2022. So... The very many functions that we have on this car are to make the car efficient for you, to uh, increase on the reliability, to increase on safety, and of course to, to make you feel that what you own serves you right. For example, looking at this particular model, there are so many times, even starting from the front part, there are so many functions that are so exciting. For example, uh, this headlight here, it senses dust. See, these are, this is a headlight washer, so it senses dust. So when it senses dust, 
it, uh, the, 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 the headlight washers uses the sensor just to sense dust or mud and then to uh, it cleans the, the headlight. And then, of course, we have the sensors uh, that help you when you're navigating and of course they help you when you're parking, they, they, help, they help you when maybe there's something that you can uh, that, that, that is an obstacle ahead of you, the car, it's, the, the car uh, cautions you. And of course, we have the front camera that it is easy for you to drive. Now, another very interesting feature with this car, it comes with uh, a brake assist, yeah? And, uh, and also, when you're driving, um, when you're driving and maybe you are in traffic jam, this is very good in fuel economy. It helps you when you when your when you when your uh, leg is on the brake pedal, the car literally goes on. And when you release the brake pedal, uh, the car ignites itself again and the journey continues. So that helps in um, fuel economy. So. As you can see, also the car comes with uh, fog lights and more sensors. Now, one of the reasons that people do not love BMW, it is because of the many sensors the car has. Now, the sensors, um, to the advantage of the driver, it works. I think for me, the sensors are really good because they caution you, yeah? And uh, bearing in mind, these cars are very good when it comes to uh, uh, on road that is stomach roads they are not very good when it comes to um, off-road so that tells you that the sensors are really good especially when you're driving in the streets of uh, uh, Nairobi they are very good and the good the good thing is that the, sen the sensors caution you of the car ahead of you and the car behind you so you are able to take precaution Maybe you can, uh, you can uh, use your hood, you can, you can hood uh, for you to be safe. Now, the, 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 the sensing system of the car is, uh, is, is for your safety, is for the safety of the driver and of course every other person that is in the car. So for me, I think the sensors, there is nothing to fear about it and they are really good for your safety. So, the car comes with 18-inch um, alloy rims and uh, for this particular one, it, 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 it has really blended with, with, uh, with the wheels and looks really nice. Then, of course, it comes with the BMW emblem and the MI uh, logo. Now, this car is an X drive. What do we mean by X drive? X drive is a, a function where you can either drive the car on two wheel, for this case is the rear wheel drive, and also you can activate the four wheel drive mode. That is what we mean by X drive. Now, that helps you when you're driving in the muddy places, uh, rocky places, maybe where you need uh, extra power for you to navigate that is how you, you you need to activate the modes and of course um, it comes with a really nice side mirror with an LED side light and uh, I forgot to mention that also the headlight of the BMW X3 comes with xenon light and uh, xenon light and LED light that makes the BMW uh, front part look really nice and of course uh, uh, combined with the BMW uh, grille that looks really really nice. Now uh, we can check what we have on the inside of this car. We have uh, on the BMW X3 uh, this is the locks. This is how you lock and unlock the doors and this function is for all the doors. This is where you control your windows, the front windows, the back windows, and this is where you lock the windows. Now, this function is very important because 
the X3 is considered um, is considered a family car. So of course, when you have children, you know they can uh, go by opening and closing the uh, windows, which is very dangerous. So you this is uh, where you this is the function which uh, you use to lock the windows so that no one opens the windows and, and unless it is you. Yeah. Um, we have the side mirror controls and of course we have the trunk release. This is where you, you open the trunk from. For me, this is a really, really nice function. Now, uh, the car comes with uh, seat memories and um, uh, seat warmers. So, <laughs> you adjust the seat electronically. You do not have to... You do not have to hustle a lot when you are adjusting the seat. And then, of course, if you want to see to set, this is for the drivers that um, you are more than one driver in your family. One driver can be driver one, the other driver can be driver two. Yeah, and that is how life is made interesting by the BMW X3 2015. Now. We have compartments, several compartments on this uh, uh, part of the car. This door has a compartment which is really huge. It can fit even a bottle or maybe um, for those of you who love coffee, the cup of coffee can fit there very well and there are two of them. Then you have of course this handle where you open and close the door. And we get to see what we have on the inside. And for this particular car, it is not a full leather uh, interior. It is stitched with a, with, with a fine cloth that looks really, really nice. For me, one thing I love uh, BMW, it takes care of so many things. It takes care of the beauty of the car. It takes care of the performance of the car. It takes care, uh, it takes care of um, a safety and so many, many other things. So the seats are uh, half leather and stitched with a very very fine cloth that actually when you touch it you it feel expensive and of course coming to uh, the steering we have steering control where we are on i did not want it on so we can just switch it off so that we can be able to hear the voice so uh on the left side, you have the cruise control set. This is where you set, you you um, you press on this button, and then this is where you increase the speed or decrease the speed. Yeah, and of course, this is where you have your um, stereo system control, and of course, if you want to to to, to connect your phone, this is where you you connect your phone. Yeah, and then moving to this other part, this is let's have it on so that you can be able to show so this is this one is really interesting this is how you control if you want maybe to uh to listen to the radio you want to to um to do the dvd this is how you control yeah and it feels really really nice so this is this is, this is how you do it this is how you do it yeah you just press on the side up to up uh, up to when you get what you are looking for and then of course you have your radio you have your media you have your telephone you have your map you have your um, option i mean you have uh, everything um, consolidated to one area and the gear lever you have the parking button we are out of the era where we you, you have to pull something yeah and you 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 just this this is electronic you just either press up when you, when you when you want the, the 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 parking brake to be on you press up when you want to release it you press down and of course now because i have not stepped on the brakes uh, the car is not on that is why so you press down if the light the red light disappear you know that uh, you've released the uh, brake light. But you can also have it on auto mode. Yeah, uh, you can also have it on auto mode where, where if the car stops, it 
can pack it it can uh, be on packing on its on its own now several other functions here uh, we have the this uh, downhill button this is where you feel that the hill the, your, your, your control of the hill is not as sufficient so you press this one to assist you when you're going downhill and um, the control of the gear lever also is very interesting this is the parking you just press the parking uh, when you arrive to your destination of course and let's release the brake so if you're driving you 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 unlock of course and then you you press yeah you press and then you pull you pull uh, towards you so if you want to reverse you do like that yeah and very interesting when you're reversing you are shown on the screen uh, where you are reversing to and it measures it shows you uh, the distance you have or the options you have when you're parking and then of course it shows you the safe distance you can keep when you are you're reversing or maybe uh, when you're when you're parking this shows you now the the sensing area the, this is the the distance where the car senses the objects yeah uh, moving on to this part uh, you have your climate control and the climate control you can control the driver and the co-driver can control the climate independently yeah the the driver can control the climate here and the co-driver can control the climate here and uh, wow looks really it's 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 really comfy you know sometimes you're in a car and uh, uh, maybe someone is a lover of the cold weather and they they, they they want the car to be all cold and you maybe you are allergic to it <laughs> you actually do not know what to do sometimes it's not it's not your car it's you 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 are on a lift so there is nothing you can do so you suffer silently but now here you can be able to control your climate independently yeah and moving to the um uh, the lights and uh, uh, the uh, wipers now the wipers are automated and um, they function with the magnitude of the rain or maybe the fluid because they when you want to wash of course you use a fluid one or maybe the fluid that is on the wind, windscreen and then of the lights you can have them on automated mode or you can have them on um, a manual mode where you can control as much as you want now we have more compartments here and if you see here this is for a 2015 model the person who um, who was uh, designing the car had it in mind that people are having smartphones the the, the challenge we had with um, spaces maybe to have to put your to to have your smartphone with the 2005 models all the way to actually from 2000 all the way to around 2006 2007 is because um, most of the manufacturers did not have smartphones in mind but now this you can have your smartphone here and uh, this is also uh, a cup holder a compartment where it's a cup holder and here you have your your charging system where you can charge your phone here you have another compartment and another charger where you can uh, another uh, port where you can charge your phone and then you you have your usb connect and aux where you can you can connect your phone to the stereo system and the 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 the, the armrest here feels really really nice now moving to um 
the finishes that we have on the car, the wood, uh, the, the metallic and the wood finish, this is a metallic finish and this is a wood finish, they make the car look really nice looks. The, 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 it doesn't lose the classy, the classy part of the BMW, yeah? So the car comes with a moonroof, yeah? Uh, this is for this particular car. Other units, you, you, will, you will get different um, functions. So let's check what we have at the back seat of uh, this car. So the, the back seat of this car is uh, also half leather and stitched with a, with a fine cloth. And um, we have several spaces. Personally, I don't like this space because some, you've, you put some things there and they keep falling. So it's not a really good space. Uh, you have compartments here. Yeah, you can have your cup. You can have other things that you feel good to have there and then uh, you have your you have your armrests and uh, this armrest you can have this one only yeah and also you can drop the whole uh, the whole part if maybe you need to reach out to something from the trunk you can you can you can uh, fold the whole part. Now, at the back also, you have your space for your phone. You have your uh, climate control, both for the for the uh, the right passenger and the left uh, passenger. And uh, you have your charger as well, yeah. And the space. This, the headroom, you have a lot of space on your headroom, and the legroom, you have sufficient space. You have enough space. Now, the interior of this car uh, looks really, really nice and very well blended because the exterior is white, so that the interior is dark and it looks really, really nice. Yeah, so we check what we have uh, in the trunk of this car. So one of the best thing with this car is that it has a big trunk that uh, it is sufficient for your um, your, 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 your village stuff, yeah? For those who love carrying a lot of stuff from the village, yeah? So it has a really big trunk and you can increase the space by folding the uh, back seats. So the space is even more. And you have these spaces where you can store your, your other stuff. You have this, this other space here. You can have some some stuff there of course you have your hooks where you can have your hooks you can hang you can hang your anything anything that you would want to hang there are more hooks here i mean it's a very efficient trunk so also you can have more space down here you can have your more stuff and of course uh, this one is for the battery. Now, one interesting thing is that the battery of the uh, X1 is at the back, contrary to many other types that we have. Yes, so, and another very interesting function, when you're closing the trunk, you can choose to either close the trunk only or close the trunk and lock the doors, yeah? So it's a really interesting function. Nice. So we get to talk about the torque, uh, the horsepower, the fuel economy of this car. 
as we feel how it drives um, and how it handles on road. So the car handles really well. Uh, that is one of the things that I know about a BMW. The handling of the BMW is very nice and also the picking power of BMW is something that uh, can be commended. Uh, now, as I said, the car is a, a 2000cc, comes as a 2000cc, uh, twin power turbo. Of course, BMW is known for sport cars, so that is not uh, something that is, um, uh, that is not familiar with the BMW. And also, uh, it's a four-cylinder with a maximum power of 240 horsepower. Yeah? Woo! <laughs> for those who love uh, something we call thrill, this is the car for you. 240 horsepower. And then um, that is on a maximum torque of 270. Yeah? So that is a lot of power for one car. And uh, of course, the speed we have, the maximum speed is uh, 260 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and man, this is what you're looking for in a BMW X3. So, the stereo system of uh, this car is really powerful and uh, the car has speakers on each door and very powerful speakers and as we all know that uh, the BMW one of the things that it is known for is automation most of uh, the things has been automated of course you can have to select um, which speaker to to be functioning at what time yeah and as I said on the review there was I, I, I also talked of uh, the lights I also talked of the lights where you can have them on on um, automatic mode where the light can sense darkness yeah and when you're on phone you can have your phone on bluetooth so the fuel economy of this car is uh, 12.7 liters per 100 kilometers that is in the city when you're driving on the highway you have 8.8 .8 liters per 100 kilometers now for the combined uh, fuel economy say you are accessing the city and of course you'll be driving on the highway you have 10.9 liters per 100 kilometers yeah so that gives you a really nice fuel economy for a classy uh, BMW X3 with all the functions that I have mentioned that this car come, comes uh, with and um, it's a really, really nice thing to own this car. Now, the competitors of the BMW X3 are like um, the Audi Q5. Actually, the Audi Q5 is a very worthy competitor, um, which the price of uh, the two, the Audi Q5 is uh, cheaper, cheaper than this one but uh, the Porsche Cayenne also is the other competitor but the Porsche Cayenne is way expensive now the 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 Porsche Cayenne and the Q5 compared to the BMW X3 the BMW X3 is more spacious than both of them uh, but uh, the handling of uh, uh, the Q5 um, the Audi Q5 
can it can go hand in hand or sometimes it can be better and also the ease to drive something i note um, about uh, the bmw is that the previous models were a bit um, the, the steering were a bit stiff but as the models are continuing to be uh, improved there's an improvement so there is more ease to drive yeah so that's it for the bmw x3 2015 and guys thank you so much for continued support thank you for subscribing to our channel thank you for watching our videos thank you for commenting thank you for sharing thank you thank you and um, if anything you feel that we have left out on this car you can tell us on the comment section we will definitely look into it and if there is any car that you feel we really need to review tell us on the comment section we will hunt for it and we will do review again we are at urban drive you can come and see the variety of cars we have here and that's all for today thank you